Hi, my name is Jamie Rue. It's Thanksgiving and I have 47,411 words. I spend a lot of time thinking about what to make this video about. I am making it about what I'm thankful for because it's Thanksgiving and that's the cheesy thing to do. I'm not going to ignore Ferguson right now because that is playing a lot into the way that I'm leading my life, so I am going to talk about it a little bit. If you don't know what Ferguson is, go to any social media website and you should see it there. Oh, what I'm thankful for. Yeah, I am gonna start lighter. I'm gonna start with, I am thankful to NaNoWriMo for hosting this event. I'm thankful to Chris Beatty for starting NaNoWriMo. I am thankful that in 8th grade I had a dream that is leading to the novel that I'm writing right now. I'm thankful that I was able to not fall behind. I'm thankful to any of you that are watching because you guys are helping me not give up because oh my god how embarrassing would it be if I failed after making these videos and getting a whole bunch of friends and saying that I was gonna win in a rhyme. I'm thankful to my school friends for dealing with me complaining about how much it sucks to be writing a novel and for listening to me babble about novel writing and for listening to me complain because I'm annoying. I am thankful to the people out there who are protesting what I really want to protest but am not old enough and do not have the guts to do. I am thankful that I have friends that understand what is going on and are trying to protest the people in my town who just don't seem to get it. I'm thankful that there are people that are trying to educate those who are completely uninformed. I'm really thankful that this didn't happen earlier because, oh my god, I wouldn't have written anything. I am thankful that, that I get it. You know, I'm thankful that I understand what is going on and I am informed enough to make this opinion. I'm thankful that I know that the police is censoring the news. There's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of bad stuff going on right now. And it's important to be able to pinpoint what you are grateful for right now because, oh my gosh, this sucks. And I'm not experiencing it. I'm sitting in my classroom and listening to people talk about how Darren Wilson is completely innocent and he did nothing wrong and he was just defending himself. And I'm thankful that I get to prove those people wrong with like statistics and, and news reports and try to make their opinions more informed because I live in a town where there's a whole bunch of white people who have never experienced racism, who have never been outside this cushy little town and have no idea what is going on. And I'm thankful to social media for letting me inform those people because without social media, I would have no idea what's going on too. I'd be sitting in my room and I'd be typing away completely unconcerned with what is going on and that would not be okay. Now this video isn't really about writing and there's good reason for that. It's because sometimes things take precedence over writing and this is one of those times. I haven't written that much today. I wrote most of that last night and that's what I've been doing every night. I've been writing from 11 to 12 and most of my writing has been coming during that time because that's the time that I'm letting myself focus on writing because the rest of the day there's a lot of stuff to be done there's a lot of things to be followed and one of the things to be followed is this it's Ferguson and that is more important than writing right now there are a lot of people that don't see that there are a lot of people that don't get it and I am thankful to the people who are trying to inform those people but I'm thankful that my family is putting up with me right now. I'm thankful that I get food. I'm thankful that I am not one of those protesters in Ferguson because God knows how scary that must be. I am thankful that there are people that are brave enough to do what I absolutely am not brave enough to do. In my mind, I am totally there with all of them, but physically being there would not be able to do it. And it's really cool that there are people that are able to do it. So with all of that in mind, I hope you guys get to your words. Don't feel like I do. Don't feel like, oh my god, why am I writing right now? There's so much more important stuff, and there is more important stuff going on. But you made a commitment to write, and you made a commitment to be doing this thing, and don't let Ferguson stop you. Definitely pay attention. Don't stop paying attention. You have to pay attention. This is important. But complete national importance should not stop you from doing things that are personally important to you. So make sure you continue writing, make sure you get your words done, make sure that you remember what you're thankful for. Because in times like this, it's important to remember that. Especially when, you know, government is being questioned and police are being questioned. It's, it's just, it's, it's a bad time. So I hope you all get your words done. I hope this wasn't too bad of a video and I will see you tomorrow with a less depressing video. Bye.